I'm Milia Curry here with Air Viper Running. And Fred Roberts. And you just finished your third Mogion Monster. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. You actually hold the most finishes out of I know. anyone. It puts some pressure on me to keep running. <laughs> Which I think I'll do. What is it about this race that keeps you coming back each year? You know, a lot of races, you you got a good chance of finishing. And this is a race where, you know, you can get through mile 50, 60. And then, you know, after that, it's really comes down to you know, how bad you want it. You know, and the grit, and that's what I like to do. It's like, you know, digging down and things that are so far removed that from anything you could ever gain in training. Um, and I'm not very fast, but, you know, I get to that pain threshold, and it's like, so what am I going to do? Stop and go home? Well, no, I mean, until something's broken, you know, I'm going to keep going. And the, the scenery is beautiful, the people are beautiful. Um, yeah, you come into an aid station, everyone's really, really helpful. And, and now that I know the course really well and I don't get nervous at night, um, you know, my confidence level is really high. Well, do you have a, a particular story of when, you know, you thought that you weren't going to continue and then something happened and you rallied? You know, um, in other races, but not with this one. Um, I've just known that I've always known it's going to be really, really hard, and that, by golly, I'm going to finish. Um, <clears throat> but I did do the last 11 miles with my son three years ago, and that was huge. You know, that was really, really special for us. He was a junior in high school, mm -hmm. and then my two girls met us with, um, like, four miles ago, and we all came in together. Oh, wow. So we got some special memories here. It really makes it more of a family, like, yeah. you know, close-knit and, you know, the, the ultra community at large. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I keep trying to twist their arms with they have other things going on right now. But, um, you know, that one experience was really good for us. Now, is there anything in particular you do training-wise leading up to this race that you found works well? You know, this time I never had a chance to do, like, one 40-mile run or one... 45 mile run so I did like I do 17 in the morning trail and then 15 at night <clears throat> on the road and then the next morning would do 20 miles trail and it just like did a ton of miles in like three days because I had to get you know I just couldn't get that six or seven hours of time yeah so I think that worked really well because I was able to rest but then come back you know, kind of like with an ultra later in the day, feeling fatigued and having to go out and run again. So I think that that was, I would definitely do that again next time. And is there a race that you're looking to do next? I have a lane 100. And that'll be number 10. That'll be number 10. <laughs> yeah. Another good number. I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> and, you know, it's just living in Tucson. It's so easy to come up here and run these great races and then head on home, no flights. Go to work on Monday. <laughs> Can't complain.